I believe in the thing called love between Harry and the American divorcee Wallace Simpson. Getting married today, of course, in Windsor. And for the BBC Now, their live is the BBC's royal correspondent, Bernard Rush, who can join us. Bernard, good morning. Yeah, can I have the 999 family chicken bin supreme? Sorry, hello? Bernard. Sorry, yeah. Ber- Bernard, are you there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good to go, yeah. OK, <clears throat> Bernard Rush is... Do you want are me you to rolling? Just, yeah, we're not... Hang on. Do you want me to just talk you in again? We uh, we got some of your... um, Picked up some of your earlier conversation there by accident. Well, you can you can just tighten all of that up in the edit, can't you? Before it goes out. Well, <clears throat> it's live, live radio. I'll do, I'll do, I'll just do it again, all right? Yeah, as live, yeah, as live, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> it is live. Three. It is. Hang you're on. rolling. No, you're not rolling. Sorry. Hang on, I'm just checking that we're rolling. Wait a minute. And I don't want to... Ha- no, hang call. on, I'm just going to check that we're <clears throat> I'm just going to check that we're rolling. Phil... Phil, are we um sorry Bernard? Um you just hang on. Yeah. Are we rolling? There's a red light. Right. Yeah, but are we rolling? Three. Studio two is engaged. Okay. Two. We're yeah, we're live. On air. Okay. One, One. <clears throat> buffoon should know that. All right. Don't call him ready? a buffoon. You ready? Okay, I'll I'll talk. I'll, <laughs> oh. Wait a minute. No, no, don't do the false laugh yet. I'll do the I'll do the I'll do the intro again, and then you come yeah. in and I'll leave a little gap so you can yeah. get the blade in. Go on, go go on. Go, go go. All right. Go. BBC, hang on. <clears throat> All right, you ready? Three, two. BBC yeah. Radio. BBC Radio Kent on a Saturday. It's the day of the royal wedding. Bernard Rush is the BBC's royal correspondent. He's in Windsor for us now. Good morning, Bernard. <laughs> That's right, John. Welcome to Windsor near Kent. You join me on the roof of the Windsor branch of Tennessee Chicken Shed, whence I shall be spending the day commentating on the royal wedding for. A national TV channel, John. Uh, uh, well, and uh, the B- just, 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 yeah. can you just not be actually non-specific about that? Uh, because people mm-hmm. listening to this will, uh, as it, you know, the way it works is that you have to sound like you're talking directly just for BBC Radio Kent exclusive, that kind of thing. You know, yeah, and well, I, uh, I'm, and I, I'm, I'm the official anchor of Uzbek Two. That's um, that's one word for it. It's a national it, TV channel. Do you know Uzbek Two? Uh, I don't think I've, I don't think I've seen news, the f- It's a first refreshing one. blend of news and current affairs, cotton picking tips for children, forcible sterilisation of rural Uzbek women, chat, and everybody loves Raymond. Right, OK. Uh, and, a and gig's a gig, John. A gig is a, a gig. Vision, and they pay in bullion. Right. How well, weird is that? Yeah. We, um, could you be more, could you just, again, I, I've said this before, could you just get the word Kent in for us, I know you tried at I the think beginning. Windsor near Kent. Yeah, but okay. You want the, the, you want more Kent? It, well, I want more radio because it's radio. It's not television, is it? So uh, if okay. you can, don't you know? Don't mention, okay. don't <clears> reference <throat> the other people you're working for. That's okay. not okay. All right, are you ready? And today, here... hang on. <clears throat> Three, two, hang on. We're we rolling. We're we rolling. Three, two, one. And today, here on Kent Radio, we celebrate the marriage of Will and Melania, welcoming <clears throat> welcoming what? her into uh, what? welcoming her into a family who have the divine right to rule, namely from the direct will of God. Yes, John, it was God who decided that you should only be able to buy Dutchy original organic produce in Waitrose. God, John. He's getting round to Bangladesh, but priorities, John. Uh, I've been told also the UK government has prepared prepared a few surprises, John. Uh, right. Boris, geez, place falling apart. Yeah, Boris can Johnson, I... Sorry, can I just interrupt a minute Sorry. there? Because uh, yeah, we just—I don't know what. Can you just? You, I don't, what you haven't done? Uh, I don't know whether you got the email. Could I, could I? What I wanted you to do was sort of set the scene in a in a in a in a, cor- in a raw correspondence sort of what you know. You haven't said. You haven't really said anything about Union Jacks yet. Or, yeah, I was, I was coming on to what Yeah, I, I know, but I, early on, people want to hear about bunting and cake and memorabilia, don't they? they want to hear the, the order of the whole thing then. Well, I don't know, how much, how much, more, the whole piece laid how out. much more of the other stuff is there to get before we get to the bit that people? Nothing like one sentence. All right, fine then. Fine, all right. Just... Boris Johnson right. to celebrate is offering fifteen percent off Exocet missiles with a discount code Spliced. Yemenis everywhere rejoicing at that one. Right, uh, but, but okay, John, uh, in here in Windsor, Kent, what a scene. Marks and Spencer's has changed its name to Markle and Sparkle. Yes. Which is a lovely cynical marketing ploy gesture. And others have followed suit. William Hill is honouring the younger of the brothers, calling itself Harry Hill. Yeah. There's also Hubbycraft. Yeah. Palace Base. Doesn't really work. 
And the posh paint company is now Farrow and Ball and Chain. Yeah, and, uh, and the Builder, and Meg- Builder Megan workshop? Builder Megan, yeah. Build, Builder Bearer of Royal Progeny workshop. Oh. And next, John has renamed itself Charles. Uh, well, what can we expect from the day? Uh, that's what people in Kent uh, probably are wanting to... At 1pm, John, there'll be a procession. Yeah. From St George's Chapel in a gold carriage. Yeah. Coming down past Betfred, past the news agents, then turns right at the food bank. Then it's a straight shot past the closed down youth centre and RBS, that's the Royal Bank of Scotland. Uh, John, past William Hill, Harry Hill, past Harry. Ladbrooks, past Pound Stretcher and the Job Centre, also shut down now, past Cancer Research and into the £180 million Windsor Castle. Right, is the retreat for the Queen? Yeah. What? Sorry, there's uh, what? What well, are we? What? Is, you're, you're making work for yourself because you're going to have to tighten all of this up before it goes out. No, it's like <clears throat> what? What of Elton John? What of Elton John? What of Elton John? Elton John uh, has not been around. Well, he's. I mean, he's there, isn't he? So, can you? What? Can oh, you? I haven't seen him. He hasn't been to Tennessee Chicken Shed. Yeah, earlier on, right? There was um, oh. like someone I think interviewing George Clooney and stuff on the on the on some coverage. I think he's there. So could you? Yeah, well, you there's no signal. There's no ma- signal. Ma- make like you've seen. Look, come on, look. You know how this works. You got. I it. saw George Clooney, John, thank you, thank and you. Elton thank you. John. Thank you, thank you, and who else? Because that's what people are interested in. Who else did you see? Um, uh, uh, Harry Hill Bennett does. Harry Hill line. doesn't count because that's just the name of a shop now. So you can't. I think I saw Claire Rayner. I think she's dead. Hang on, let me check. Well, what a fan! Hang on, I'm just checking on the Claire. Wait, just checking. Seriously, what yeah, a fan! Claire, Ra- Claire Rayner is dead. Yes. Well, it wasn't her. What are fans expecting from the day, and why have they bothered, John? I spoke to some of the fans already gathered on Windsor Street about their hopes for the big day. So, what are they? What are their hopes? Well, they're certainly rather faint. I haven't got oh, a tape. Come on. We haven't got a tape. Not a, no, 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 no. I a... got an email confirming its download. Who from? Uh, well, uh, you you send that. I, well, it didn't come from me. I didn't send it. I haven't got... I, I this always you happens, Bernard. You send a tape uh, in of something you pretty yeah, good. I haven't got the okay. tape. It was a Vox Pops that was talking to people. I haven't got a Vox Pops. I haven't got. I haven't got any. I haven't got a tape. We haven't got, even got the facility to play a tape in here. If it is a tape, was it a tape? So what do I do? Right. So what? What now? Clown boy Bernard's going to have to fake it. Yeah, you're going to have to fake to redo it. Yeah. the whole thing. Yeah, and and don't say fake, fake it on the BBC. News for you like the, a monkey. Right. Just be the voice all right, of. All right, all right, shut up! Shut up! I think we'll get away with this. Do you want me to count you in? Yep. All right. Okay, you do, you do, but you better do your line into it again, and I'll, I'll, yeah, okay. I'll pretend I've pressed. Uh, about their yeah. hopes for the big day. Three, two, sorry again. Three, two, one. Hello, who are you? And where are you from? I'm Stuart from Faith. When did you get here? January the ninth. I knew it's happening this year, so I figured that's you get here early. You think? Who are you? I'm Margaret Poodle from Wadhurst. You excited? Look at the paddle. You stink. Who are you? Stevie from Rochdale. Yeah! You seem quite excited. I've just come to get a selfie. My manager, Frankie and Benny, said he put it on behind the bar. You stink. What about you? I'm out of the feral. You excited to be here? Huh? No, I just come out of Wimmerspoons last night. I was trying to get home. This is how far as I got. You're disgusting. Well, one thing's for sure, John. I'm just going to smash on. Yeah. Looking out over this sea of human jetsam that's been assembling here since Monday, looking at the stinking, unwashed morass of bodies, juicing with excitement at seeing some arbitrary humans that fell out of the jackpot womb. Melon, Meg, 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 Mel, that woman is going to be proud to be a part of these great people and this great family, renowned sorry. for their racial sensitivity. Sorry, you, oh. sorry you're, coming to, you're coming to the end now. I need to watch your outline. Um, I need an outline because I've got to go into a song and then get, <laughs> get to the news. So, uh, Exciting. All right, go on then. <laughs> is there not, there's, there's not much longer, is there? 
Uh, no, just cut the line. All right, fine, go. For their sorry, in three, sorry, in three, yeah, two. I'm on the edge, mate. One. Bernard Rush. Racial sensitivity and this great Britain. That'll work when you cut it together. All right. John, it's a fantastic day, and I, for one, am truly obsessed with speculating about the issuance of further royal progeny from a new fleshly vessel for the royals around nine months and 15 hours from now. Sorry, I thought you were ending on the word excited. Oh, oh, sorry. Go on. Sorry. God, it's exciting. Bernard Rush there for the BBC. Yeah, honestly, mate, I'm not doing any more Ber- of these. Bernard it's Rush. Worth 30 quid. Bernard Rush. The BBC's Royal <laughs> Correspondent talking to BBC Radio Kent. 